This is Spider-Man. He shoots webs, they stick, and he can swing. And this is my web shooter that lets me do that for real. Man. It started with these mini web shooters made from modified lighters. They use compressed gas to shoot out whatever you put inside. Super cheap, simple, cool. Actually one of my first projects that really blew up. Quite literally. But it's not real webs. I mean, you can put glue in there and it kind of looks like webs, but you can't like stick and actually swing. That's what I've been trying to do ever since. First, we need a way to shoot the web. Then it has to stick into a ceiling somehow with enough strength to swing from. And then finally release the web when we're done swinging. Honestly, the first part's the easiest. Making odd things that shoot is kind of my specialty. But how do we get it to stick? So these are the strongest type of magnet that you can get. This one's rated for 600 pounds of pull force. Just gotta attach a rope to the magnet, add a pressure tank that goes to the barrel on our wrist. Now we have an insanely powerful web shooter to blast this thing to the ceiling. That's better. Let's see if this works. We're gonna try and shoot it at the ceiling, see if we can hang from it. Oh my God. Now we swing from it. Oh boy. Let's <laughs> fire. Even though this magnet is rated for 600 pounds, it still falls off. Because unfortunately, it also depends on the metal it sticks to. You need really thick metal to even have a shot at holding that much. But it's still fun. Oh my god. Thanks, Whitey. Appreciate it. <laughs> it almost works. Problem though, I can't unstick anything else. Maybe we try like glue. I think that's basically what Spider Man uses. So I tried all the glue I could get my hands on, and super glue seemed to be the best. It also sticks pretty well, too. Super glue, piece of wood. <sighs> but like, how do you shoot a web with enough surface area and glue to get it to stick instantly? Well, what I have here are two chemicals, and when I mix them, something really cool happens. It actually forms a web-like polymer instantly between the two liquids. When I grabbed it, I was able to pull out some white goo. You, you gotta admit, it looks a lot like webs and you can keep pulling it out until the liquid's gone. We're actually making nylon here, which is extremely strong. So maybe by combining this with super glue, we could make real webs that actually stick. And super glue also has an activator spray that brings the dry time down to just a few seconds by speeding up the reaction. So maybe we spray the glue first, then shoot the web that's covered in the activator. So when they meet, it cures instantly. But as it turns out, even that's not quick enough. Because super glue doesn't instantly hold, the webs just fall off. So I tried mixing in another glue that does grab instantly, but that seemed to weaken the super glue. I'm not a chemist and it's just such a mess. I am literally covered in goo. But one of my favorite goos that just might work is this rat trap goo. Oh yeah, instant stick. Surely we can make some sort of webs out of this. We're just gonna try this. Yup, that's what we want. Sticks on anything. Spider-Man. Oh shit. Uh, okay, well, it's holding the entire thing, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's some webs right there. That could, that could be webs. Still holding. Still holding. Wow, it's still holding. Okay. And it slowly kind of lowered itself down. Pretty accurate. First, I made a mini version. It's got four webs that you can shoot out individually. One, two, three, oh, four. Let's today. go. Just like strings of webs. <laughs> yeah, it's sticking way more than I thought it would. Or all together. Only problem is the reload time takes forever. But this one fixes that, and you can reload it with a push of a button. Pop it off, wind it up, reload, bang! All day. This thing is actually ridiculously fun. <laughs> Just shoot, stick, reel, and repeat. And because y'all asked me for web shooters more than possibly anything else, you can finally get them on our website right now. Pretty limited for now, so if you want one, definitely check it out ASAP. It is so exciting to be able to offer something like this. Like, been a goal since day one to actually have a toy. It works right out the box, comes with a magnet on the tip, which is great for sticking to metal. It's also got a suction cup. You could also add any different type of glue depending on how much stick you want. It's kind of practical too.
and we were able to set all this up using Shopify. They make it super easy to set up your own online store. Just put in your email and it gets you started with a free trial. From there, we just added the web shooter item, pictures, shows a theme, and set the price and quantity. Zero coding required. It all goes together super nicely and boom, it's for sale online. Shopify also lets you sell your stuff on social media or even in person too. So it's perfect for any new business or side hustle. Like there's a reason millions of sellers in over 175 countries use Shopify. And it'd be great to eventually put other things on here like our bouncing spring ring frisbee or any other inventions that y'all might want. Comment below. So if you've ever been thinking about starting a business yourself, check out Shopify at shopify.com slash jlaservideo. But to scale things back up, I got this large net. Maybe we can shoot it, cover it with glue, make it stick to stuff. I don't know. About to catch me a Zach. I regret this decision. And three. Oh, That was fast. Okay, and then you're kind of tangled up. You're literally tangled up, dude. You look like some serious Spider-Man. Okay, this looks so much like Spider-Man. And the net strands are actually strong enough for you to hang from. Uh, so I'm gonna add a rope and see what happens. It's like he's uh, in need of some help, maybe. <laughs> All right. Oh. oh my god. We got it. <laughs> That's Spider-Man. That's instant kill mode right there. You <laughs> obliterate. Ta-da! Save the day. <laughs> see? This would be great for wrapping things up and maybe like sticking onto branches or whatever else and swinging from stuff like that. Comment if you have any other ideas about how we should use this or just any other projects we should make in general and subscribe too. But I think it's gonna be very hard to add glue. Still can't stick onto flat things, which is kind of the whole point of this video. So this is a screw and it's literally meant to stick into buildings and hold things together. Maybe we make something to launch this screw, then it will like screw itself in, miniaturize a drill and like the web can be like the wire. Or we can just hit it really hard. Nails maybe aren't as secure, but it's way simpler. Now they do sell powder actuated hammers, which hit really hard from only a small tap. What are those? 22 gauge shot, dude. Ham for hammers. For hammers. So they're blanks, again, for hammers. This is a hammer. <laughs> they sell this at a store, right? It can't be that dangerous. Can't be. It's like a nice spot that Spider-Man might want to swing from. Right. Thankfully, if this does work, it'll be really far away when it goes off. Ready? Is there a safety or something? I used the ram set before, they're very easy to use. Yup, there it is. All right, swing. <laughs> Dance, monkey. That's my weight. Wow. That's my entire weight. Yay. Yeah, it might just be possible to swing with this. I think the Mythbusters tried something like this years ago, but I think they gave up too fast. But please do not try this yourself because it's very dangerous if you don't do it right. We basically need to miniaturize this hammer and have it go off when the web dart hits the wall. Got this tube with this dart. This nail is the holder. Dart goes in here, gets stopped by that nail. When we pull this nail out, falls down there. See if it uh, actually impacts and it sticks into that board. And I will be way the f over there. Did not go off. Oh yeah, that's kind of in there. Yep, that's in there. These are now together. Another thing we gotta test is the angle. Because if you look right here, very rarely are we gonna be shooting it directly into it. Sometimes it might come in at an angle. Tilted it, tilted the boards. Let's give this a shot. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, all right. That went into the brick too. Wow. I'm not gonna show exactly how I did this for your own safety, but we ended up with this capsule where it triggers on impact and sticks into whatever it hits. And it can hold a lot of weight too. Now we need the web shooter, basically a tube and some CO2. Works pretty well. We're gonna shoot this into that. Coming out here. <laughs> that works pretty good. Really well. All right, now let's shoot it with a live charge. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, why not? Went off. Dude, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna swing it off that baby. For the actual web, I'm gonna use some Kevlar cord that's rated at like 4,000 pounds. A little web sack, if you will. We'll workshop the name, but I just wanna see if this can shoot and dispense a nice web and stick into a target. Do you think it'll work? No. no. Show them what you look like right now. No. <laughs> Seems like you have a helmet 
And I, I you have, have a raccoon, have a raccoon hat. Three, two, one. Ah. Go off. Black. We just need more power. Okay, and the string came disconnected. Probably because it exploded, <laughs> but we're learning. It all spooled out kind of nice. So. It did spool out pretty nice. Yeah, I just need to refine. Another problem is how do we attach the web to the dart? We want to attach to the tip, so that way the rope is the only thing that's swinging. If it was attached to the back, the whole thing would be swinging, uh, and it'd probably like, break the nail, and it, it wouldn't be good. But if it is attached to the tip when you shoot it out, it'll, it'll want to spin around midair like it does here. But we also need the rope to come out of the front of the barrel because when you load it, you know, the rope has to come out the front. Can't come out the back because you'll lose all your pressure. But what I'm thinking, big brain, take this rope, wrap it around, and glue it to the back. Then, when you load it, wrap it back around to the front and out the barrel. It gets loaded like this, but when it shoots, and then this glue piece makes sure the rope trails behind it so it flies straight. When it sticks into the surface, the glue breaks when you try and swing, and now you're swinging from the tip. That's it, baby. Rope out from the thing. It's pulled out nicely. Get one off. All right, well, the nail broke, but the nail is definitely in there. In fact, it's actually into the fence, too. So I mounted everything to my wrist, added a double barrel to make sure this web can hold me. We've also got redundant switches for each barrel and a main trigger switch on the thumb. <laughs> Let's go! Spider-Man! So we can now shoot and stick, but can it hold my weight? What? Oh! Is in there. <laughs> now we see if I can hang off this. Yeah. Oh, oh my go. god. <laughs> it's looking pretty good, and we'll also have two darts for twice this holding power. It's just pretty solid. But this is good for more than just swinging. So I hit the streets to see if anyone needs my help. My car's stuck. If only someone could help. Need me to tow it? <laughs> no. <laughs> How confident are you feeling right now? Not like super great. No, it's a perfect target. It's a perfect target. Car! I hit it technically. That wasn't good at all. You were even over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. you gotta, you gotta hold. That will buff right on out. I think that's a shot. I think I hit it. Technically, I hit it. And technically, you moved it. But I do think you have to be one rematch. Oh my god! How does he get that out of his car? <laughs> All right, it's too. Here, here's what we'll do. Oh. I got it. I told you I got it unlocked. You did to get it pretty unlocked. There's only about three grand of damage. <laughs> All right, someone's got to get that out. Spider-Man's off the clock. Just... Hey guys. Thanks, Spider-Man. Now, the final stage, the swing and release. In the movies, Spider-Man can just grab onto the web and let go when he wants. But uh, despite my skipping legs and only hitting arms for the last forever, I'm still too weak and heavy to hold myself by a web. So this is a hedge trimmer. And when it's not almost cutting through fingers or whatever else you put in it, it's almost like a hand in how it grabs things with crazy grip strength. So I had a grippers. And it actually grabs rope pretty well. Like that is, that is, oh, f plan. This goes like underneath. Then when I'm done shooting it, I guess I try and grab the remaining rope with this hand, which is like a great idea. How Spider-Man's actually kind of does it. But when I'm shooting the rope, there's a lot of extra slack that also comes out. Like the line needs to be tight for me to be able to swing. So I almost need a way to like reel that in before I grab it, which this doesn't do. So I pivoted to this reel mechanism. A little motor right there, 90 degree angle joint. This thing will wind around the rope that we shoot and it'll put the stress through this metal piece to this harness to my waist and then hopefully I'll be able to hold the rope and then when I let go it'll spool off and I'll fall. <laughs> I can't hang on to it. Even with the rope wrapped around this handle and clipped to my harness, it's still not strong enough to hold me up. It can come off. So what I did is beef up the real motor. So now the motor itself can hold me and I have a reverse function to spin it backwards when I want to release the web. Final step, put it all together. The goals shoot, stick, swing, release. Oh 
my gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that worked amazingly, though. Whoa, dude. No. <laughs> that was literally the first time we put all of it together. Like, <laughs> Man. Locked. We're close. We're close. That's a suit coming. Almost done. Good. This is insane. I can actually shoot, stick, and swing from it. And to release, I just unwind it and the rope falls off. There we go. The detach. Look at that. That's a web in the fucking ceiling. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's <laughs> Dude, that was the most like Spider Man I've ever felt. Like... <laughs> and you've climbed a 400 foot building. Yeah. <laughs> now, if I can successfully pair these with my wall climbers, I'm pretty sure I'll become the closest thing to Spider Man there is. Definitely need more practice. So I took it to a bigger warehouse. Sick. Yeah, I was How did it look though? Dude, it looks so sick. Good, good. I'm feeling very spidey. You look okay. super spidey, dude. Okay, cool. I'm definitely getting more comfortable with these and learning to control everything. So I decided to throw back on the climbers, climb around a little bit, and try and swing from the wall. Let's try and swing down from an entire story. This is quite crazy. Yeah? Yeah. Cool? Yeah, it looks cool. Oh, yeah. Spider Man! <laughs> I'm <laughs> going for a big smooch. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Uh, it's not perfect in the fact that it blasts holes in everything you shoot, but we are one step closer to becoming Spider Man.